Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to another NHL Rival Week. This next matchup, we're going to the Canadian side, as we are about to be seeing these two. Now this is what the oldest team has been founded, and they have been playing so many times. Both clubs compete in the Atlantic Division and part of the Eastern Conference. The two professional ice hockey clubs, and these are the league's oddest teams established in 1909 and the later in 1917. It is the Maple Leafs of Toronto facing against the Montreal Canadiens. Let's have a look at what they've done here first. Both teams saw success during the original six era with the Stanley Cup and has been primarily awarded to either the Canadians or Maple Leafs during the that period. In addition to the on-ice play, the rivalry was exacerbated, if you guys don't know that word is, by societal issues in the mid-20th century Canada with the two teams serving as stand-ins for the variety of cultural dualities in Canadian society. Most notably with the Canadians representing the French-speaking Canada and the Maple Leafs are the English-speaking part of the country. While the Rivalries Association with larger society issues in the country have left any input on Canadian culture, but most of them on the throughout the publications of the short story, The Hockey Sweater by Rob, by Rob Carrier. Hmm, if you have heard that story, Rock Hockey Sweater, I have the link into it, so please check it out. And these met in the 16 Stanley Cup playoff series, including five Stanley Cup finals. The rivalry between the two teams has waned since the original six era, with the Canadian and the Maple Leaf have played in separate conferences from NHL of 1981 to 1998, and have not met in the playoffs from 1980 to 2020. Although the rivalry is no longer influenced by its historical associations, it remains a symbolic of the relationship between the country's two largest cities of Toronto and Montreal. Well, as it still stands up, we're going to see how this happens. Here are the starting groups. We have Austin Matthews, Bennett Mitchell Marner, William Nylander, and your goaltender for tonight is Martin Jones. Yep, he's now been traded off from Kraken, and welcome to the team of the Maple Leafs. On the other side, only two superstars, Nick Tzuzuski and Cole Caulfield. And the starting goaltender is Sam Mountainbelt. Let's get down to business as we go right into Bell, Century Bell. At semi-by, we have is Terry Crews, along with the other commentaries of the crew, I also have a writer in right in between, Paintbrush and Boomer. Then this is where it comes down to this, the Canadian team matchups of the rivals. Let's take it from here. Terry, all you. Hey everyone, it's Terry Cruz and we are here at Century Bell as the Canadian rival matches of the Leafs and the Canadians. It's game time! Here with Terry Cruz along with Boomer and Paintbrush. This is NHL on EA Sports. Let's do this! This is where it comes in for a rival Canadian face-off run. On the start, Allen will be his first skate save here of the night. And a starting goaltender for the Montreal Canadiens. Sabzanov is a starting goaltender for the Toronto Leafs. Here, ready for the face-off as they will be taking their own time with under with the start of the period. As the win puts up for the Leafs. Fires a shot and goes wide. Rebounded by Brody. Riley has one. Goes it away. Good stop again by Allen. And this is what definitely has happened right now because Allen was really doing a pressure. Guys. He really has a lot of it enforcement to try to like go in between the range out. This is really the tough way to try to like take him out. All that forces is going to take him over it and then leave him out of the gap. This one's going to be a hard one to take over if they have a lot of room to do it. Stop by Allen. Nugo takes a putt. Recovered by Matthews and now we'll give it over again to Marner. 
Recovers again. Brody on a shot. That goes wide off and he goes stumble down. Matthews recovers it as Brody takes it over. Shot stop again by Allen. Knee fouling for the loose puck. Marner on his way down. Lost that puck. Full pressure is out as right now this one goes back to Brody. Shot has been denied. Feels like there's a tired defensive settling for the Montreal Canadiens on the start run, but they gotta do some work here. Knees hitting off that puck that too soon as Marner gives it back to Riley. Matthews with the puck to Marner shot! Rebound stop by Allen! This was really close right now. It's a great save. You just gotta keep going. Still a lot of time left in this period. Still we have no scores this game with under 17 20 to go. Shot! Rebound scores! That'll be a start for Petruzzi on the run for the Leafs 1 0 in the first period. I'm going to tell you now because Tyler Petruzzi really had that one with the rebound save. He just really had that one coming down. He really had showed it off. And then when he had that one right away with the goal, he had that one a lot of a perception into his time, and Allen was in a hurry. He had that rush coming in there, and that was really hard enough as he was trying to get that one back. Gardano with the point as the Leafs start off with a 1 0 run over the Montreal Canadiens. The faceoff win puts up for the Leafs. Gardano will have that puck in range. Trying to get into the mirrors. Lost that one as the Canadiens will have their shot to take their ability run. Sean Monahan is in the left wing. Nobody looking open. Tabor with the puck and now losing a grip. Bertuzzi recovers it. First goal of the game for tonight, and he goes right toward it with the start of his first career against the other team with the Canadian runs. Shot's been blocked by Yolen. Yolen's got that puck hit in the right wing. Tries to move it over. Give to Sapkowski. Shot! And the other side of it stopped by the bottom for Santanov. Nylander, we give it up to Giorgiano. Gio Giordano, right over again to McCann. Now finds Tavares. Tavares right over into the center. Shot stopped by Allen. That'll be another save inbound with only to stop on the clock with 15 15 to go in the first period. Now their teams are ready to take the offense inbound. 1 0 is the start for the Leafs run. Leafs wins the faceoff. Langston shot rebound has been directed at him. Goal right over again to Kosovic. Vorak's got that puck in the right wing. Tries to swing it over. Goes with the power shot! Way wide off the mark and it's stopped by, by Samsonov. The rebound puts up by Anderson. On a bounce! Stopped by the goaltender! Good belly making for Samsonov as Langston gives it back over to Jetcroft. Leaves on a run. 3 one Allen takes it away. Under 14 minutes remaining in the first period. Good run, but only one goal puts up for the Leafs. Now, you just make the say that Klingberg was really trying to get this thing over. Even though you can't see where he was going to get there, he just didn't really feel like, you know what, I have to wait for it set it. Because if it doesn't work for me, it looks like he got a little bit slammed up through it. Now back to the win, as Brody get back to Riley, shot, and it's been stopped again here by in Allen. Evans, giving a puck back over again to McCaw. Harris takes it over. Pearson right over into the left. To hit the two on one, and it goes blocked out of the way as Brody goes back over it again to Jacor. Jacor over to Riley. That's the camp. Into the right slot. Harris is Seep Saucer. Pearson takes it over with the puck steal. Montreal back in the offense zone as they are picking up another attempt. Lost that one as Brody takes it over. In toward the right slot. Fires it stopped away by Allen. Battling for the loose puck of the chain boards. And Harris recovers the puck. Evans with that one to carry away by again to Gallier. Tries to look over again. Puck and shot. Stopped away by Samsonov. Brooks back to Gorbach. Riley gives it back again to Marner as Montreal takes a number hit. 
Miner still recovers. Magnus shot. One timer denied by the goaltender. Miner get back to Matthews. Has it back again to Anderson. On back way into behind the cage is Matthews. Gives a pass to Laxon. Laxon lost that one. That's now Isaias with the puck. Take a right over to the left. In the slot. Samson on. Gloved up the save. Oh, put back and balance to deny. This one's really going to be a close call. Not because, like, he was really way off the target on that run, but to say right now, it is a very tough to try to stay out of his line. It's not going to be easy enough for trying like, to keep that one to save and bound. You're never going to get this one in the right try if you're doing it. Here's the goal! scores! There's your goal! The Habs are on the run. It's 28. You make that clear for new look. You already make that one a good look. But you make that perception that easier. When you look over with the light, you just got to make that one and maintain it. And then when the goaltender, it hit from a stick and it went bounced it fucking right towards the net. That put up a good run for the Habs to take the goal. Habs and the Leafs are tied up at one. We're just down towards the mark, passing the midway mark of the period. As this one turned to be a tie game. Now looking for an hour one, it's Giordano with the with the run on his way down to the right. Find a winner, and plugs, and Tamir scores. The captain gives it away as this one tie chain is broken. It's now 2-1, the Leafs. Wow, that was quick. It looks like that Gord Tavirs would have had that one good look. You give up that pass run, he made that shot. Well, it's a good save, but he took it away from it instead. He was really uh, trying to deflect it, and then he forgot to make the poke check. But he, this one, he went, he went breaking towards the left. He went from right, and then he made another change off plan. He went straight towards here in the other way. That is a close call that we were looking at right away. Yeah, I must say now, Tavares really showing it off like himself. Like he wants to do this on a rebound. After a save, he wants to break the wall free. He really had that one coming down there, and looking for another one. To keep an eye on. I'll keep an eye on here for Tavers if he gets another goal. Back to you, Terry. Barron with the puck and now in the offensive side is Newbook. Nine minutes remaining in the first period as a 2 1 score puts up for the Leafs. Magnuson lost that puck as McCabe gets it over to get to Bertuzzi. Now he finds Tavers. Tavers in a breakaway chain. Here's a stop run by Allen and it goes right toward again to Caulfield. Canadians are on a run. Pulls it back to Suzuki. Gets denied by a, by a defender. Caulfield shot. Samson on save. Now they will get their face off in a Leafs territory with just 8-12 to go. Now with another face off in a cave. It's still a 2-1 game as Toronto's been the best one here over the Montreal Canadiens. But this was not a tough one but they were really are going to try to like keep it over the pressure and then take out the mark. Now they will flat fire it out. Barry has that puck. Scooped it to Matheson. Makes sense to Slavkovsky. Get back to Yonin. Yonin goes back down on the board. Scott's going to be a major hit. And that start run puts up an elite. You know you really are going to make that collision out there. This really is going to be a hard to give you a painful look at the experience. Don't try to take away from it. You don't want that one to go out of the way too soon. Gio Garno didn't see that one coming as Tommy gives it back to him. Now Nuka takes it over. Montreal back into the King in the Leafs territory. Lost that one. Klingberg with the puck back the other way for Toronto. The Leafs are in the offense zone. Camp on the inbound. Nice catch by Allen. He stops the run with only 6-11 to go in the first period. Ready to take another one by the face off. It's still a 2 1 game. Now with the win, here's Klinberg. Right towards the left slot. Langston shot. Blocked and denied. We've covered it by Camp. Klinberg right towards it, right down to Langston. McMahon, will he have it? No, he did not. 
Holly just got that save in time, and now they were putting it up at the full P. Full pressure, steam ahead. Maybe this is whatever happens. They want to deny that run, you gotta block it, and you gotta stay out of it. That's a great help on the offense. They try to pick up the run, but the defense got a lot much better. Here's Sturmach. Now find Anderson. He's now on the other side, into the Elite territory. Fires away! That's not going to get them that point, as the shot's been denied and gloved up by Samsonov. McMahon on his way in the middle, and Cole takes it over. Pearson right on the way on the other side. Lost that one. McMahon sky it down, into the center of the end zone. Buck taken away, as now it goes back the airway. Here's Pizzetta. On the way down, it's been knocked away by the defender. Klingberg, diagonal past the camp. Over again to McMahon, with the two on one. Oh, and that pushes the bounds. Exilia over again to Evans. Evans right towards the left wing, passes to Pizzetta. Shot, stopped away by Samsonov. Now back to Marner as a new line switching change has been confirmed. Marner on his way, caught up by Allen. Just about 3.21 left to remain in the first period. Still on a great run for the Leafs. Austin Matthews has a lot of a great moment to take over it. This will cause a shock and awe moment. When he puts up in the bounce, he can list it at one who has a good uh, competitor to make the competition work and try to help out on this team. And Nick Suzuki has a lot of interference, but he might show up in his coverage. Uh, these are the two that I'll be looking for in between of Nick Suzuki and Austin Matthews. I'll be seeing which one of them can take it over. Back to you, Terry. Recovered again by Madison and Burr. We'll have it over now to Caulfield. Right toward the left wing. Big old tag. This one goes back the other way as the Leafs takes another hit. You've never really seen that one was going to be a lot of battle takedown. They really want full steam. This is a lot that harder. They are trying to put in a lockdown for a defense. Matheson will have that one right again. Into the right wing. The leaf side. They were good out by Riley. Two the main defenders. Brody takes it over. He's all alone. Shot. Good stop away. And this one goes back again to Matheson. Bow down to one minute remaining at first. Two wants the game, looking to get a tie run to start to close off the first. But still, no, nothing has been answered back. Brody passes over to Mertersi. Mertersi lost that puck and gives it back to Yolanin. Now finding Monahan. Can't find any way to go as Tavitas takes it back. Pass to Nylander. Move around again. Rebound and been directed off. Barron with the puck, winding down to five seconds, will he have it? The shot, blocked by Guardiano. And that will end the first period. Great start run as this one puts by Tavir's a 2-1 game. We'll take a quick break and we will come back to this one right after this. Welcome back to Century Bell as we're about to start the second period. And we're off right now. The Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens are really a top offensive team, and they all do all the work that they did. Let's have you take a recap of the first period for Boomer. Well, they have been really been going over this again. I may have to say this: they've been really have been dominating it all over again. They're trying to make that one feel like that they have been, never been going out of here like this. And they were really trying to like stay them out the pressure of their sight. They really are trying to like get it over to this. Not everybody's idea that they're trying to get out of this. He scores! Oh man, the Leafs are in wild right now. TJ Brody with a hammer goal and picking up the lead for a 3-1 score. This really is the call for TJ Brody because he was really over this. He never had gotten a goal before, but he finally nailed it. That's a hard one, but he was not able to proceed it and make the pickup play. That's really a hard one, but they were trying to like stop them. The Leafs are on a great mound in possession as they have to turn out with a 3-1 lead of the game. Looking to get more for the, for the Canadians to give it back. 
Mays will have that one here, and he goes right back again to Marner. Marner gives it back to Matthews. Caulfield with the puck steal. Looks it right over again, over again to Mavison. Mavison shot, blocked by Morgan Riley. Looking it over again on the right side. Passes again to Marner. Lost that one. Good hit off. Newhook takes it over, and now he goes right toward the corner. Now back again to Riley. Riley shot. Oh, and save. That holds it up here with just only 18.02 to go. Just to come down right in towards the lineup. Now they're ready to do this one again. The Leafs are having a good run of this ability to have a two up in the lead. Now the win for Brody. Puts the Riley. Stopped away by Allen. Now he rolls it over again and now finds a swing. That goes wide off the mark. Kosovich right now it again to Yolanich. Yolanich right over to the right wing. Now entering the Leafs territory. Kosovich over to Monaghan. Shot! Stop away by Samsonov. Riley battling for the puck will be George. Elander lost that one as Gould will have it. Back again to Monaghan. Shot way off the mark. Diagonal it, and now Brody will have it here. Into the right wing, passing along again with 16.45 left to go. Pass a shot, stopped away by Allen. Now rolls it over again, now finding again on the other side. He now finds Lakowski. Lakowski right toward it, can't find an open look. That save puts up by Samsonov. Gould takes it over again to Kosovich. And it goes away by Brody. Now, this was a really hard chain. They were really just trying to stop Ron Knott to there. They were just saying that Samson Thomas was really taking it over with the hit of a stick. Stop by Allen. Got a good use of it. And we'll stop here with just only 15 23 to go. Still a lot of time left in this period. Leap still up by three. Up to one in a second. Wynn puts up for the Hawks. Harris and her team are back into the offense zone. In the Leaf territory. Anderson shot. Trying to pick a rebound, but it's been knocked loose as Robertson takes it over again. On back now to Domi. Here's Domi shot. Trying to make the release bit. That gets caught up away. Vorox now finds again to Anderson. Anderson right towards the right wing. Gio Gordano will have that one away as Robinson has one. Takes it back again. Over now to Jake Park. Setting the zone and he finds Domi. Domi gives a swing off, pass away. Now finding again to Gio Gordano. Jake Park right away. Pass down to Robertson. He's on his way down. Tries to move it up for the, for the crease zone. Marner shot that has been denied. Robertson get back to Marner. Unreleased the shot. Allen, what a great save. Oh, he's still not quitting. They, this is a lot of tired defensive and offense. They were just really like trying to hit out of here. We don't want to get away with this. And they need to do something else to do about it. And they can't get away with this. Austin Matthews wins the faceoff. Lightson lost the puck as Al Harris will have again the Suzuki. Langston with the puck now into the Habs territory. Fire shot saved me by Allen. Suzuki goes down. No good goes down. No penalty call on Toronto. They have been like strats shutting it down already. They really saying that, no, we do not care about penalties. We're really on good right now. We've got a good roughing on our, on our game, but this is a lot that hard, but they're trying to get away with this. Nobody wants that. Bankerson right now, Bandy Caulfield. Caulfield right towards the right wing. They get off to Gazuski. Oh, Samsonov. Got a great save this time with 11.50 remaining in a second. Still lots of time left in this frame. They still need to get this goal right away as it's still 3-1 run. Samsonov got a pretty good, decent amount of saves and he has number 14. Looking to get more than that. Will he get more? Will he get to 30? <laughs> this is like a kind of question. I mean, 
I don't know if he may, may not be able to get him off that point, but it's a lot of saves that he is trying to move up. But hey, don't listen to them. They're just really like trying to like, get away with that one. And I'm not really saying that, hey, I'm guessing that he's going to win it all, Samsonov. You just got to like take it away from him. That's a lot of hard respect. Yolman right over it again into the win center. On a shot away, Samsonov. That's number 15 in a row for the Saves. Nearing a midway mark in a period, still need to get that score in reach. Now the win puts it up away. Bach has been taken. Recover by Purdy, and now Riley will have it down to Bertuzzi. Across the line from center. Give it up that quickly as Perrin gives it over now to Slakowski. Misfires it, and Maylander takes it away. Good by Allen. We pass the midway mark of the period, and it's still a lot of, get, a lot of game to get this done down. And they need this one. They have to find someone else to try to cover it up. Your space is definitely going to be a hard one to take. If you don't have the right to do this, you just got to try to fix something else. But be better, but be ready, uh, you don't want to like leave him out more long. Anderson with the puck and now in the center shot, stopped by Samsonov. Here again is Morgan Riley. Lost the puck, go to your shot. Samsonov covers it quickly and he has number 17 saves in the night. A lot of time remaining here into the Canadians and the Leafs territory. They still need to get this one down for another face-off. And another win puts up for the, for the Leafs. Nylander finds some ears. The Bears lost that one and now finding Gaddy to Bertuzzi. Looks right to the slot. Nylander up. Oh, what a big hit down. Barron with the puck in right again to Anderson. He went hard. Took a big fumble fight. They really wanted to scramble it again. They're just making this one all over the place. They really have to try and like get out of here. They just really do not want to be leaving it at each other. I mean, I've never seen it like that. That's a hard one to make a smack out of it. More rocks with the puck and not call your shot. Stop by Samsonov. Number 18 in the game. 746 remaining in the third second period before the time period comes to expire. Here's the win as the Habs have it. Kozlovic shot. Not enough to get there as Samsonov hits another one. That's number 18 in this save like game. Here comes a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Allen. Hello. Big sell down. It's pro now. 7-10 remaining as Pizzetta. Pizzetta with the shot. Stop again by Samsonov. McCab lost that puck. And Evans takes it away. Nobody looking open as McCabe gives it back to Jank Rock. There's a lot of great um, great abilities that they are trying to get over this one, and this one could be losing the puck there quickly in bound. They really are trying to make a smack out of it. They want to win the draw, but this is like a war. We don't want that. We want the war to be over. Still lots of time left to remain in the period. It's still 3-1 for the Leafs. They are the best teams in the Canadian matchup. Caulfield with the puck and now into the right side. Trying to look at somebody who has the fence shot. Free run again. Way off the mark. And Goyle gives it back to Suzuki. Suzuki lost that puck. Matthews with her on the way down to the other side. Tries to look up quickly. Pass. To knees, rebound, poked away again by Allen. Montreal back into the offense zone, and Newcook pass again to Caulfield, shot, stopped away on the pack, saved by Samsonov. Here's Suzuki, over it again, blocked and deflected away by Mapeson. Mapeson again, Suzuki, Samsonov, good stop here as it goes with 21 saves in the game. That'll be 4.43 left to Raheem in a second period. He's still going to get this one up. You got a great intentional run there, Samsonov. Well saved. 
Samsonov will have to try to regroup it again to do another face-off. And that was a bad angle to take a start run. We do it again, wins again for our Nylander and her team. Riley on his way down, on to the right. Give it back to Nylander, and Bertuzzi has it. He gets slammed away. Now Barron will have the puck again to Slepetsky. Looks it over to Yonan. Goes away! Nice stop by Samsonov. He is like on the roll. He's on fire that quick right now, but let me say now, that Samsonov got much better by Martin Jones. I'm thinking this one's going to be a hard rain job if they wanted to do this one again. we got to do something else quicker than that. Nylander with the puck and out into the center zone, finding again to Riley. Now in the center of the zone is the Beers. Chalak stopped away by Allen. The Leafs scoot covered a rebound as Bertuzzi and Valley along the puck. Now it's scooped again by Barrett. Find Sapkowski. Canadians on a two-on-one fast break. Tries to go with an open look. Soskowski gets blocked out. Nice run for Morgan Riley as he has that first block of the game. Tries to look over for center. Patrice shot. And it's been knocked out. It's been denied. Hook sends across into the boards. Giordano and he scores. My goodness. Giordano at five goals. He saw I have a hard reception. This is what Giordano does. He's just really taking over it. A lot of responses. I mean, wow. When he went down, he did not see that. Look at this play. When you see that, when he comes up right into the fender, he just really saw that one coming. And he did not really notice. It was right towards the corner. If it was going to go out, and then they, somebody has to go rebounded right away. But not this time. Giordano had that goal, and he took it away from it. Giordano has that one and there, when it's Gigor. Kreger lost that puck and goes back down. Digman came in. Camp on his way on the left slant. Left wing lost that puck pass as Skosovic will have it. Under two minutes remaining as Glossier will have it bound. Now Joe Garno will have that one again, and Draper. Gregor will have that one right away. Closes up the gap. Now finds Kosovic. He finds Gould. Gould lost that one, and it took some number, gave a kick for the Leafs. Gordano with the puck, rebound again! Oh, that stayed out! Allen dives it! We are under a minute remaining in the second period. It's a three-point lead for the Leafs. Now they're ready to do another face-off attack. They still need to get this one goal right down ahead. Now the win for the Habs. Goal finds Kasovic. Fires around the net. He now has his time and now finding Gorgiano. Giordano to the Umi. Jankrock well on his way down to the right. Close the gap. Rebound by Robertson. On the backhand! Stopped away by Allen. And Stillman give back to Robertson. No holding on the call. And that ends the second period. Junior Verdano as Robertson went down there hard. What a big impact. Brace yourselves. This one might be it. Third period's next. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back with you after this. We are down to the final period, and this one has been a rough night for the Canadians, but it looks like this might be it. The last one will detain the win of the rivals. Let's have a recap here, as right now Boomer stands by. Now, I must say that they really are saying that the Leafs are really are that powerful and that strong enough. They always maintain it and make it to the wildcard position, and then now they're in the postseason. But this was all that happened right now because they beat against the Bolts. They have been on one tough night. They've really been going all over it on the, on the ring. But not everybody has been complaining that they really are stepping it over. And they really wanted to stop here because this is a lot of that hard responses that they really are trying to do their best. But all that work seems to pay off the, again 
it's because of what they're doing is they're trying to like stay out of it from sight. Not the big seeing of in between, but this is not what they were really going for if they wanted to get away with that. That is a hard one, but they are trying to do this at all times. But let's find that can let's find let's find out if the Canadians take it back. You got that point, and I'm thinking there might be one. With the start run, here's the beers. 17.40 is left to remain here in the third period on the start run. Fires a shot. It's denied by the goaltender. Barry right over it again. Now finding over is Caulfield. Habs back in the offensive zone to make the cut. And stopped again by Samsonov. That's number 25. And now Paterzi will have it on a cross. And it's lost to puck as Monahan takes it over. He finds Caulfield. Scores! They are back down by two. Looking to get more at this point, and they might find another way to get back in it. They really are starting to step in because that's what happens at Cole Caulfield. They got that one goal right on a quick release. You know this was a lot of hard, but because when he had that step and bound, this was deflected right on the stick, and then he went from the goal net. Now they're finally kicking in with gas. Caulfield really showed that off. As right now, Sean Monahan has been really stepping it up. But they are down by two. But this is going to be a hard run to take that one in between. If there is another win there, guys, we might find out who takes the air decks. I'll be keeping an eye on him if there is another goal to take inbound. Back to you. Kosovich, right? Fainty pass to Monahan. And Gruel up again. He finds Sapkowski. Right towards the center, Sober Samsonov! Deflected off the player! Giordano with the puck, and now into in pursuit finds McCann. Tavius with the puck. In center position is the least. On the way back, shot stop by Allen! That goes another bit safe here for a, a total workout. Four two still to come, and now they're ready for an air face off. Leafs wins the faceoff. They capture Robertson and now back in the inside of the zone. It goes out of here. Nice stop by Allen. That's Monahan with the puck now finding Nolan in. Right towards the right. In what? Samsonov. Gloves up with the save. That's another big save out there. I just really saying that he's like already showing up. He's not quitting up for here. Now faceoff has been coming up for the Leafs and the Canadians with only under 15 minutes remaining. Goals, the shot's been blocked. Riley with the puck and now into the center. In the inbound. Fires away. Now looks over again to Gould. He finds again to Anderson. Now he gets out to Kosovic. Over now to Gorak. He go in the middle. Take again. And stop by Samsonov. Crawler still holding on. Samsonov denies that shot. Oh man, that must have been a good call with Goyer. If he gets another one in there, I will win a cut and bounce. You know that this was a lot hard. This is a lot challenging because the Canadians are really losing their franchise players. They were just trying to like make a fight back. They really wanted to know that that's really that tough that nobody has ever seen it like this. And that's how hard it gets. How tough it is when you don't need it. Matthews with the puck. It's denied by Allen. Harris with the puck now finds Borak. Gallier now finds Anderson. 13 15 remaining in the third. Look around again. Back at where now again to Harris. Fires away. Deflected, stopped away on the block shot. Anderson, oh, Sentinel. That's good to take him ever, say big save. When you need to crack out of him, you just gotta like cover the puck quickly. That was a hard one. The win puts up an elite. Brody right toward behind the net. Oh, Samsonov will have to stop that one quickly for a little bit of emergency backup. As this one will stop the player by 12.38 to go. Trying again from here as they will have another face-off attack coming up. And that will be 30 face-off wins for the Leafs. Riley has that one in counter. For Jersey with the puck. Slides it back over. Cosman broke it up. 
They have to leave it on me here as it's offside on the hops. Habs and Leafs ready for the faceoff after an onside spin whistle. Take it from here as Birdie has it down with the puck recovery. Fling it out. The Habs are back in the offense zone. Lost that one as Sapiris gives it again. Allen big stop. New York again to Caulfield. Getting down to the wire here and now finds a Suzuki shot called the way by Sofanov. Really showing up his fear, but really got a good fight back. They really are getting away with this one. They're not going to leave it alone. You may have to cover feeling, and this is a lot of respect. Now to win as Giordano has that puck to get again to McCabe and Elander right in the middle. Lost that one as Harris takes it away. Here's Caulfield right out of the other way. Has to get a new book. Fire stop made by Samsonov. Now rules again to Exia. Harris had a shot and made a rebound. Put it back in. Stopped the way by Samsonov. Oh, what a great put back in as this one could have been a tough score to try to go with a close range inbound. This was a lot harder. That Samsonov was really like keeping that puck out of here. I have just got to tell you that this is a lot of enforcement to try to go over with to regroup this. That's a lot of big saves out there. They're doing really well. Nylander on again. Pass again. Shot stopped by Allen. Pass in the midway mark in a period. 4-2 to two is where we left off. If you're looking for the next game, we got a next one coming up for you. A Canadian matchup in between of the Flames and the Predators are ready to take things on. That will be the next game that's happening here. It's not a Canadian team rival matchup, but this is all it takes. Because of this, Battle of Alberta is the only place to be where the Oilers of the Edmonton face against Calgary Flames. But that will be the next game coming up here for next week in January from the before February of the game. Keep your eyes peeled for our next game coming up. Rebound by Marner. Poked away. Stop up again. Nice rebound take by Allen. As 840 remains by, no icing whistled on the Hawks. Ooh, get that off that shoulder and it goes back again to Mavison. Stop by Samsonov. Recovered again by Mekhan. Moynihan as Baron has it. Stop away by the goaltender. Trying to call, call with the call full pressure. Now the Habs are in full pressure. Loaded in right again. Now find one on. Maybe send right again. And that one is going to be out of here as the full pressure is off. Knees right towards the right wing. This one keeps it out. Maybe send deep fire past the gully. Inbound and change. On the shot. Too many bodies in a way as Riley has that one. Give it back to Robertson and Jack Rock back the other side in the half zone. Here's the pass to Domi. Domi release that shot, fires him out and scores! Jack Rock on his way down. Extended one back up by three. And you know that Jake Rock was able to get that one right away because the Domi's pass, he was giving it over again to Robertson and now giving it off to Jack Rock. Watch that play. That's a tick, an attack, and toe. Right towards it from Allen. You see that? Because that play inbound, that is a great setup. Leafs win the draw as Domi gives off to Brody. And Robertson with the puck. And a takeaway inbound. Allen takes a stop with 6.28 to go. We're just getting it close right down to the end of the game, but they need to get this one right away if they can try to fight back. Now the way, here's Brody. Pass to Riley. On the middle, cut in. Stop by Allen. Oh, man, that Allen is going to be staying out there as long as he can get. This is like a hard one to take a new beginning from here. Yeah, not really everybody's out there. They're really like trying to like stay and put. Nobody wants that. They just really wanted to, like, they have to do this again. This is what the Hops really are trying to, like, screw out the layup. They need to do something else about it to try to make them go through. 
That's stopped by Samsonov. Here's an air pass to Domi and now finds Robertson. Robertson on the way down to the left wing and the right. Shot stop again by Allen. Kosovic finds a way to Suzuki. Looks it over again. Now finds him Caulfield. Caulfield lost that one and Samsonov gives it back. Right field, right over it again. Now finding again Brody again to Robertson. Kosovic with the puck and now Goy. The Canadians are back into the offensive zone in the Leafs territory. Riley takes the puck away. Now the airway comes down as they will have another room to make a setup. And the put back. Allen stops it again as well. Only 415 remaining in third. You never get this one easier because Allen does have it all. It's a great save to have it. Now we have a winner. Let's send him down the paintbrush. Austin Matthew is really like a great heart on speed tape. This was a great one to make the setup for a shock and awe moment. And I'm telling you now, he's doing out for the best. Here's Suzuki cutting! Oh, Samsonov denies that run! And that one's gonna have to take him back down for another face-off run. Now with another face-off inbound, five and two as the Toronto Leafs are the best one of the Canadian teams and try to take it over. And now Klingberg has it. Swings it over, now find Nylander. Nylander, hello! That's a big back down on my big set. No holding on the call, as this one goes back again to Mapeson. And Evans with the puck. Tries to go with the backhand. Gloved it up by Samsonov. 303 gone by in the third period. As right now, this one is almost down to the wire. They're really saying that because the Nylander was late on a hard hit. Give me that. That's a big smackdown. You got to make the face off of it for your, yourself, actually. That's a lot of it hard to think about. The win puts up again by the Maple Leafs. And now playing with Trudy. In towards the right wing and now in the center. Puck flies out. Barron right over again now on the other side of the Leafs territory. Finding an open room. Nowhere to go. Klingberg has it across. Now in transition over again. Blocks up and now Mankison giving it over to get a set. On a run attack. Looking over middle, Evans shot. Stopped by Samsonov. Evans gives it back over to get the Baron. Marvison blocked that shot. Knees on his way down on the other side of the rink. Close off the gap as Baron has it. Yoninen's got that puck and now on the other side is Mapeson. Shot fire! Stop again by Samsonov. He's really getting away with this and I mean, he's really that good defender. You gotta stop that out and that's a hard one to take away from him. One minute remaining and this time runs out. Puck goes right to the netting and it went out of play. Just enough that time for a last changeup in between the Leafs and the Canadian runs. It's still a 5-2 game. That might be the over one as Guryogana and his team are going to make a huge win and try to stop and takes. And the save by Allen. He has a lot of them to take over in pressure and only 41.6 seconds. Now they're ready to do their next face-off attempt. And it's still going to be a hard one to try and take him out. The win puts up for the Leafs. Flings it away as it deflects it. Matthew's shot blocked it up in front by Barron. Kicks the puck out of here. Last one for the Canadians. Yolanen's team and his time is running down. Bill, this is it. And now he lost it. It's a goodbye for the Canadians. And the Leafs will take their victory road win over on the Canadian side. And that will stop by Allen. So that ends the game here with the Maple Leafs 5 and Canadians 2. All goes respect to Samsonov to make the win. You know, it's comeback switching is really that difficult. But don't keep that one out of here because that is what happens though. That Samsonov has been the best of this team. Along with me, Terry Crews, Boomer, and Paintbrush. This has been a presentation of the Rival Week on NHL. We'll see you all again next time and have a safe trip home.
Thank you so much, Terry. And now it's time for three star players of the game. Your third star starts off with this one. John Tavares with one goal, two assists, and two hits. Only had that one with a rebound and a reback put back in for the goal made. The second star on the other side of a player that we all called for, Mark Giordano. A goal, two assists, and five hits. Only had made that one with a slap down, but he finally made that one in. That was lucky, and he makes that one truly a one of a kind. And Samsonov is your first star player of the game with a, with a huge save run. Here's the total statistics of how they did. 62 over 45 for total shots on goal. 41 and 51 for Montreal hits over 41. 18 on over 537 for Toronto. 94 percentage of the passing got close enough, but it's a very hard one to try to like keep up with the passing attempts. You just got to keep moving with the puck. That's all you can do. 37 face-off wins and 10 for the Montreal Canadiens. And unfortunately, no penalty has been called on both teams. So that is it, it for the run. And I hope to say that it is an exciting one. But as for the Canadiens team, got a disappointed run. We'll see you next time as this one will be the next rival week. And with the game for the next one on its way, it will be the Flames and the Predators. That will be at Alberta in Calgary. That will be the next one to keep your eyes on. And with that one being said, along with me and the crew, I am Senate Beast and you can follow me on my social media. I'm on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Link to my About page. In the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in for NHL Rival Week. And peace out for a while as the NHL 24 on EA Sports style. See you later, folks, and good night. To the Hobbs and the Leafs. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.